Imagine a journey, not through a picturesque landscape, but within the intricate and unseen world inside our bodies. A journey that begins in the gut and leads to the brain, revealing secrets that could change the lives of millions. For years, scientists have suspected a profound link between our gut and our brain, a connection that might hold the key to understanding and even treating Parkinson's disease, a debilitating condition affecting nearly 10 million people worldwide. Welcome to Sapien Analysis. Join us as we dive deeper into this groundbreaking study, exploring the intricate dance between our gut and brain and the promising new avenues for treating Parkinson's disease. Together, we can illuminate the path to a healthier future. Recent groundbreaking research has uncovered something extraordinary. Specific gut microbes, tiny yet powerful, play a crucial role in this process. And here's the twist. These microbes are linked to levels of vital nutrients. Riboflavin, also known as vitamin B2, and biotin, or vitamin B7. This discovery is more than just fascinating science. It's a beacon of hope. It suggests that by supplementing these vitamins, we might offer relief to those suffering from Parkinson's, especially those with gut dysbiosis. But how does this work? The lack of B vitamins was linked to a decrease in short-chain fatty acids and polyamines, molecules vital for maintaining a healthy intestinal mucus layer. Without this layer, the gut becomes more permeable, exposing our nervous system to harmful toxins. These toxins trigger the overproduction of osinucleant fibrils, molecules that build up in dopamine-producing cells in the brain leading to inflammation and the classic motor and dementia symptoms of Parkinson's. This study wasn't limited to one corner of the world. Researchers analyzed fecal samples from 94 Parkinson's patients and 73 healthy controls in Japan, and then compared their findings with data from China, Taiwan, Germany, and the United States. While the specific gut bacteria varied across these regions, a common thread emerged. All these microbes influence the body's ability to produce essential B vitamins. This global perspective revealed a crucial insight. Changes in the gut bacteria communities in Parkinson's patients were linked to decreased levels of riboflavin and biotin. These deficiencies were more than just minor imbalances. They were associated with a drop in short-chain fatty acids and polyamines molecules vital for a healthy intestinal mucus layer. A weakened intestinal mucus layer makes the gut more permeable, allowing toxins like cleaning chemicals, pesticides, and herbicides to penetrate. These toxins can reach the nervous system, leading to an overproduction of isonuclein fibrils in the brain. This accumulation triggers inflammation resulting in the debilitating motor and dementia symptoms associated with Parkinson's disease. But there's hope. Previous studies have shown that high doses of riboflavin can help recover motor functions in patients who also eliminated red meat from their diets. This suggests that supplementing with high doses of vitamin B may prevent some of the damage caused by these toxins. Ensuring patients have healthy gut microbiomes and reducing environmental pollutants could be a protective strategy. Each journey with Parkinson's is unique. Personalized assessments, such as gut microbiota or fecal metabolite analysis, could help identify individuals with specific deficiencies. Administering oral riboflavin and biotin supplements to those with decreased levels might offer an effective treatment. So what does this mean for the future of Parkinson's treatment? It means that a simple solution, like vitamin B supplements, could potentially make a significant difference for many patients. By understanding and nurturing the gut-brain connection, we can unlock new pathways to better health and well-being. The journey from gut to brain is more than a scientific discovery. It's a story of hope, resilience, and the power of nature to heal. As we continue to explore and understand these connections, we move closer to a future where Parkinson's disease is not a life sentence, but a manageable condition. Subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the unexpected news from science, 
history, medicine, and from anywhere else. Share this video among your friends and families. Till next time, keep exploring.